Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, when it comes to uh, louche Lotharios, there was none more louche than Russell Brand back in the noughties. And Brand is now being targeted purportedly for his noughties behaviour uh, when hordes of besotted women were drawn like moths to the flame of a man engineered into stardom who looked like Jesus uh, but behaved like the devil. Now, I don't believe for one minute that the clearly concerted attacks on him today are because of his historical sexual behaviour, though. I think they're due entirely to his uh, recent political stance on various issues about which the globalists would rather uh, that the average man in the street remained in a state of bovine, unquestioning ignorance. And the globalist narrative, essentially speaking, is that COVID-19 was and still is a lethally dangerous pandemic and that the uh, mRNA vaccines are a uniquely necessary and unquestionably safe antidote. And anyone arguing against this will be met by an extraordinary level of mass targeting. The globalists would also have us believe that the war in Ukraine is down to Russian imperialism alone and that the US military industrial complex is a cuddly and benign entity much more concerned with world peace uh, as opposed to the humongous profits generated through to the last surviving Ukrainian soldier. Now Brand holds a counter view to these rigidly enforced narratives, as indeed do many other people, myself included. Uh, but unlike them, he has several million subscribers and he uses this base uh, to reach those who might otherwise have little interest in the goings on of our global elites. And I note, by the way, that Brand uh, has added over half a million new subscribers to his YouTube channel over just the last few days. So way to go, Channel 4. In the first half of 2023, Brand was interviewed at his own home, which is quite a coup, uh, by Tucker Carlson, who is now the world's most popular, most watched commentator, political commentator, by a fair degree of magnitude, and especially so uh, when compared to the dying left-wing TV media, which has replaced honest and impartial journalism with crudely screeching propaganda and as an inevitable result is gurgling down the plug hole toward the sewer of journalistic oblivion. Earlier this year also Brand chatted away on camera with Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the nephew of ex-president John F. Kennedy, no less. Now RFK Jr. is now running for the presidency himself, yet he still took the time to talk to Brand about uh, his by which I mean RFK Jr.'s particular take on COVID-19 vaccines uh, and the antics of St. Anthony Fauci, who we are instructed to believe is, uh, to believe is the saviour of all humanity, which is something RFK Jr. Uh, suggests not to be the case at all. Uh, indeed, RFK Jr. believes Fauci to be a, a criminally malignant little hobgoblin and has written a book to that effect, and it's noticeable that Fauci has never contested any of RFK's uh, accusations of alleged criminality, uh, despite the book being an international bestseller. So make of that what you will. Both of these extraordinary interviews with hugely, hugely influential people uh, would have attracted the interests of the globalist cartel. Uh, but the straw that probably broke the cartel's back occurred in March when Brand appeared on uh, Bill Mayer's TV show in America and said the unsayable on mainstream television. Just watch. We like facts. I love facts. I wouldn't have mentioned it. I'm English and you know that politeness is our fundamental religion. I mean, yeah. <laughs> But they do pertain to this issue, so may I say some of them? Please, if they please inconvenience do. I you, I I I'll stop saying them. The pandemic created at least 40 new far big pharma billionaires. Pharmaceutical corporations like Moderna and Pfizer made $1,000 of profit every second from the COVID-19 <laughs> vaccine. More than well. two-thirds of Congress received campaign funding from pharmaceutical companies in the 2020 election. Pfizer chairman Albert Baller told Time magazine in July 2020 that his company was developing a COVID vaccine for the good of humanity, not for money. And of course, Pfizer made a hundred Hundred billion dollars okay. in profit right. in 2022. Right. And, and Mayor Bill, that is true too. 
More facts. All I'm querying is this. Yes. Is if you have right. an economic system in which pharmaceutical companies benefit hugely from medical emergencies, where a military industrial okay. complex benefits from war, where an energy companies benefit from energy crises, you are going to Peace generate cap, right. states of perpetual crisis yes. where the interests of ordinary and, and, people well, yes. and, separate from the interests of the elite. It's this and only this which is why Brand is being subjected to such a concerted and relentless attack. It most certainly is not because his, his grasping and degenerate uh, ex-pimps at the BBC and Channel 4 uh, had some sort of Damascene conversion in a blaze of redemptive light and suddenly decided, a decade later, uh, to atone for their making of a monster who not uncoincidentally garnered them a great deal of literal filthy lucre. So it's glaringly obvious that the attacks are coming from the global cartel, who are understandably incensed by Brand's popularity and his alliance with two of the world's three most important dissenters against the, the globalist coup d'etat we're currently experiencing. So Brand is in the process of being airbrushed from history. Uh, RFK Jr. and Bill Mayer will now turn their backs on him. Tucker Carlson, I'm not sure. But no one wants to be associated with someone accused of rape, which is precisely why Brand is being accused of rape. It's a routine tactic of the obscene left when they can find no other way of eliminating a threat to their global agenda. Russell Brand is being silenced not because of what he did in the past, but because of what he says in the present and will undoubtedly say in the future. So welcome to fascism. Real, genuine fascism. Links, as ever, will be in the description box below. That's it. I'm off. Thank you very much.